Hello from CNN London, I'm Monita Rajpal. This is World Report. The Free Gaza Movement tells the Associated Press it is sending two more ships to Gaza. The AP quotes organizers as saying they'll try again to challenge Israel's blockade of the Palestinian territory following Monday's failed effort in the Mediterranean. That resulted in a deadly clash at sea between Israeli forces. And well, from the start, Israel has defended its actions in the confrontation. We want to get more reaction from Israel now. We're joined by Israeli Foreign Ministry spokesman Egal Paul Moore from our bureau in Jerusalem. Sir, thank you very much for being with us. We just, at the very top of the show, we were reporting that uh, the Free Gaza Movement is telling the AP that they're going to be sending more ships to the Mediterranean to try and challenge this blockade. What will Israel do? Is Israel sending you? You use the word message. What message is Israel sending when there is such international condemnation for Israeli actions of what happened Monday? So, what kind of a message are you sending to the world? Okay, Egal Paul Moore, the Israeli Foreign Ministry spokesman, thank you so much for that. Well, there is much anger in Turkey over this incident. Protesters are again gathered outside the Israeli embassy in Ankara. Ivan Watson is following all the developments from Istanbul, joins us now live. Ivan. Now, Israel tightened its blockade on Gaza in 2007 when Hamas took power. Israel already controls about two-thirds of the Gaza border. Egypt controls the rest. And there are just six tightly controlled border crossings, with Rafah by far the busiest. What's allowed in under the blockade? Mostly food, medicine, and some basic supplies, like soap. Israel says about 15,000 tons of aid uh, per week, allows 15,000 uh, tons of aid per week. The list of what's not allowed is pretty long. Cars, computers, construction materials are almost always refused. Israel says it blocks anything that could help Hamas build or acquire arms. Little is allowed out of Gaza as well. Excuse me. Only a few truckloads of strawberries and flowers. The result, about 80 percent of the people in Gaza rely on humanitarian aid and more than 40 percent are unemployed. Analysts say it is a serious blow to Al-Qaeda. A website reports the terror network has announced the death of its third in command. Senior international correspondent Nick Robertson is looking into the story and joins us now from C. Now to the Gulf of Mexico, the oil spill, America's worst ever. After 43 days, BP is still trying another approach to try and stop that leak. With the top kill maneuver of failure, robots armed with chainsaws are taking Almost over. Is the World Weather Center keeping track of that storm. She joins us now with more on that. Mari. You know that that terrain there is so vulnerable to uh, flooding and mud. Mari, thank you so sure. much. I'm Monita Rajpal in London. World Sport is next.